everyone hope you're all well it's rachel from moonlight stitches um so today's uh installment of a meander down memory lane i'm going to be doing a little stitch of the headstocks which is over the road from me so in the first little page we went over the road <laughs> into the field and now I'm at the top I'm sort of going to the top of the field um and I'm going to stitch the wooden headstocks that, that from the mine that are up there um I've got Reggie today he's he's sulking a little bit because Gertrude's told him off but he's all right he's just come for a cuddle with his granny uh, so I'm going to get straight into it and I hope you enjoy I'll see you all again okay so the next page on our little meander down memory lane um i'm going to do um something along these lines because this as i go up this field here this is at the top of the field and this is the winding wheel or the headstocks um from the mine that was there it's actually a replica the the metal bits are originals but the um the wooden bits are replicas so i took this photo oh gosh i don't know two or three years ago but i as i thought i would have a little go and do something similar to that as in all my things it will be abstract it won't be the same but i did come across this bit of fabric and i thought mm, that corner is a definite thing before i start must must say because i know i did forget that i've done how many pages i've done or folds one two three four there's five folds and then on each so it's like one two three four five six pages six folds that way i did think that i'd not told you so just pop you there so yeah so i'm going to use this um bit of fabric i'm just going to cut those zigzags off because i don't like them as always, you do whatever suits you on your page. I mean, I'm just sort of going with guidelines. My map has different highlights. My memory map has different highlights of different memories on a on a walk. Uh, sorry, on a cycle ride. Let me just find it. For those of you who haven't seen the original, this is not very, it's not a very brilliant drawing, but it's got like little bits. This is what I'm doing next. It's just got highlights of things that I've seen when I've been riding my bike around the villages. So that's where I'm sort of picking out bits out of that. I might not even use what's on there. I might think of something else, you know, it might come along and I think, oh, I didn't think of that. So, okay, just gonna, where's my pins? Pins. I couldn't find these the other day, but I'm just gonna pin it down. Because I know that that's my, gonna be my sky. And I did think I could use that is the grass and I'm going to put a bit of a something in here yep I'm going for it today because I felt like I waffled an awful lot let me just have a quick keep going off in there 
just to break it up a bit. In this field here, in the summer, there it's full of sunflowers. So I might add some just for the fun of it. Now then, do I put it in here? Might just put it in and then pop that on top. Right, I'm going to put you on there. some oh no I wasn't I was gonna do that wasn't I that's what I got this out for silk thread oh so I do hope you're all well um, and you have made a little start I know one or two of you have, have um, put in comments that you're doing something along the lines not the same but as a map but one lady has actually said she's going to actually do a map um which i'd be interested to see i have done that in um the past so um but i may sort of come back to that in what on one of the pages in a little while um, so, right, I'm just going to talk about the pages just one minute while I'll just think about it. Um, I'm going to do 10 and it might be 10 weeks, it might not, I might skip a week and do something else. So just bear with me on this because it just, it is literally going to be um, what i feel like doing it's because i'm not doing a kind of weekly series um i felt like <coughs> oh, excuse me i felt like that i might do something in between you know just to break it up i don't know i might just not <laughs> but who knows i'm just gonna tack this down with some morning stitches. Oh, pinch myself. I, I didn't mean to go straight there. I meant to sort of go in a little me meandering. That's because I'm talking. Little meander. So I thought it looked like the. Um, vapour trails that are in the sky I used to go out with my camera an awful lot pre-covid but I just felt I don't know I don't know why I don't anymore I think it's a I think you sort of go through phases, don't you? What is your thing at the moment? I do anyway. I think if you're a creative, you tend to. You tend to sort of swap and change over little things. Like, I love watercolours. I absolutely love watercolours. Excuse me, you just have to put a sniff, sniffle. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And I absolutely love watercolours, but I tend to go through little bits of phases of getting them out and having a go, because I'm not super artistic, but I tend to, tend to always come back to thread. I hope I'm not clanking about too much. Mm. 
I was going to do the um, the post box down the lane, but I, I think I might do that on the next kind of page. I don't know. We've also got in the village, which I haven't put on the map because I didn't. I don't pass it on. Well, I didn't pass it on that particular memory bike ride. A telephone box, a red telephone box, and it's been converted into a library. So the locals will go and pop in books in there that they no longer that they've read. Um, I tend to go and drop off a few paperbacks. I just feel like you're doing your bit then. But the problem with going to the library is I come back with more when I'm dropping off, dropping them off, thinking that I can get rid of them. Um, I come back with more. So it's sort of a, a you know, I'm trying to get rid of book space if I'm trying to get get more book space it's sort of a a uh, pointless task but it is a beautiful little um, beautiful little library <laughs> you can't get in it and sit in there it's, uh, it's, uh, um, read but We finally um, removed the hedge, the hawthorn hedge at the, on the front of our on our front of our garden. Um, oh my gosh, it's such a big job, it's such a big job, and Harvey is covered in scratches. Um, from the thorns and some of the thorns were that length gosh but it needed to come out it was brittle it was old um, and it's been re being being replaced but not with hawthorn with an evergreen or things that are going to stay evergreen all year round in leaf all year round because a it's a busy road and b um we have a bus stop not that there's a lot of people stand at the bus stop there's a bus stop outside the house and i just like to sort of have a little bit of privacy. Although my house isn't like right onto the car, onto the road, it's set back quite a while. Oh, I've just undone that. Unthreaded it. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. That's been this weekend's job. Um, yeah, it's been quite a task. Not much fun, I have to say. And now, of course, we've got to get rid of all the horrid branches. Right, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I did think about it the other day. I thought, oh, nobody's mentioned for a while that they can't see what I'm... So, just have a little... I've literally done running stitches in a couple of directions just to sort of mimic the um, the vapour trails. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my picture up, just give myself a little idea of, I'm going to do it in this pan. I'm, I'm not going to go um, too crazy of 
the structure because that wouldn't be I don't know I don't you know just it's artistic license isn't it so and that pen's not thick enough let me get another one Ooh. just want you to be able to see what I'm doing I'm sort of drawing the winding wheel I know they're not and then we're going to come across and do the other one there and then we'll come down I'm do a bit of a thing across here so it'll come out. I am bait this is very, very basic. Nobody's gonna see, nobody's gonna come and uh, expect it to be any other. I wouldn't think. That's it. I'm gonna I might put some spokes in there and a bit more of a platform in there. Right. Yeah. So I thought I'd do it in a darker brown. And I'm going to use six strands just so I don't have to keep um, going backwards and forwards. I'm just going to do it in a back six. So six strands of stranded cotton. I couldn't tell you this is an anchor one and it's come from a kit 905 if anybody's interested <laughs> um, and may have a faithful chenille, chenille needles I like chenille needle because they've got a larger eye and I can see to thread them right I'm gonna go round the wheels first. I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna do a stem stitch. Oh Ooh. might have to go up a bigger size on the needle. What have I got? Let's have a look. Mm, can't see one. If that happens to you, if you're struggling to pull it through, go up a size, a thicker size, because that way your needle will make a bigger hole for your thread. But I think it's more that I can't grip it. And these are great for that. Thread pullers needle pullers or thread pullers or use a thimble I can't get on with a thimble they get in the way too much if you're doing a um, sort of a meander down memory lane don't forget that you can follow us on Facebook and pop your pictures on there moonlight stitches because obviously we can't um, add them into the comments can we on YouTube I'm doing some clattering about. Yeah, because I do like to see what you're doing. Because I'm newsy. Do you know what I was going to do? I was going to do a... Too late right now. I was going to do a um, buttonhole wheel. That's what I was going to do. But not to worry. Not to worry. I might do one of those on the other end. Do 
just to remind myself that nothing's perfect I'm making it up as I go along I don't really have a pl I, mm, I don't really have a plan I do have a sort of a little plan in my head but I don't have a big uh, plan of what stitches I'm going to do and what threads I'm going to use and what fabrics I'm going to use it doesn't my I don't work like that mm. so I'm going to come down actually I think I'm just going to uh, finish that off so I can put some spokes to the wheels in because I don't want it that thick I'm going to just go in with a bit thinner thread where did I start with that shall I go in with some of that oh, on the wrong side yeah let's use some of that oh have I got it? oh no I've got some brown silk here That'll do. That will do. Do you know, it doesn't matter when I start to stitch, I get, I suddenly get a load of text coming through. I have to put my phone on silent. But, oh. So I'm just going to do some straight stitches, some, some spokes. I feel like it needs to have spokes in it. Like I say, I was intending on doing a buttonhole wheel, but get chatting and forget what I'm doing. So it's been the Easter weekend here and the weather's been falling um, I think it was okay on Saturday we got got some of the work we wanted to do done in the garden then um, it rained some day yesterday it was okay and today although it's not a weekend day it's, we're back to work as such um it's been pleasant again so we sort of stretched our work out over the four days and we're exhausted yesterday we went took reggie out for a long walk um up through the woods at Felly and we thought we got away with it and because we went late on when it had stopped raining and oh gosh the heavens opened we got drowned and Reggie hates the rain <laughs> he's such a little he's such a little sweetheart oh that looks okay but he does not like the rain so he gets he goes and hides under hedges or in the woods or anywhere where it's not raining but but then he gets very very muddy because he's quite short on the ground well he's got long legs but it's quite a small doggy you've seen him you know what big he is it you know what he looks like oh i went right across there and gertrude's here hello gertrude she'll probably be in there um wanting to put our nosy in a minute so yeah we were absolutely wet through there she is just come to have some dinner but um 
it was I took some I took some photos on my phone of the the sky it was absolutely gloriously blue on one half of the skyline and then black on the other it was fascinating really and you could see the the waves of um rain in the distance Ooh. I am upside now, right way around. Suddenly thought of, am I upside? Um, just, just in case you're new to the channel, Gertrude is the cat, and she will come and say hello. But I have her kitty kibble up on my desk because if I don't, Reggie eats it. So that's what you can hear crunching. blood so I must have stuck the needle in me quite deep um I run workshops in person workshops and online workshops and uh, one of the ladies was making is has been making the cockerel uh, workshop the slow stitch cockerel and she messaged me to say, oh my goodness, there was some quite um, flowery language going on when I was trying to sew something on. I don't know what it was. I think it was feathers. Mm -hmm. And I recommended that she got some of these. I've seen them. Somebody shown them to me. I've not got any. Um, like little patches, little circular leather patches that you stick on on your thumb, fingers and thumbs to stop yourself stabbing yourself with the needle and she said that uh, she'd order some anyway so she's ordered some and they've come and she sent me a message to say how wonderful they are so I might have to invest in a pair in a set in a little set and see because if you're stitching a lot you know it's it's sort of that thing for me gets so many lumps and bumps where I'm pushing through with the back of the needle two people have said about the back of the work and honestly I wouldn't let it worry you it doesn't have to be neat you're not going to be seeing it in fact I always think it tells a story of what you know of what thread and where you went and where you sort of your mind went to so don't let it worry you Unless you particularly want it to be too, super neat, of course. But for me, in this kind of work, I don't, I don't worry too much about it. Because I was looking and I thought, oh my gosh, I've gone to skip across there, which I, ooh, it's a no-no. When I taught, when I used to teach, I'd be like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> But now, don't lead by my, uh, don't, you know, don't lead by a good example, do I? Right, okay, let's put some structure in. Oops, I'm not off the page, am I? So I'm just going to go straight across. I'm just going to do a back stitch. 
I'm just going to do some big stitches. I mean, you can do exactly what I'm doing. It's not, but I'm, I'm not sort of, I've not got any kind of plan with this. So don't feel. Get myself, why have I not stitched that down? Get myself all twisted up. Uh, <clears throat> goodness me. And the problem with backstitch I find is it eats your thread. Just flatten that down. But it is quick. And we're going to come down here. I did think when I was uh, doing this, I thought, oh, I wish I'd have done something else now. We should have done like a seaside holiday memory. <laughs> but. I'm going to have to find a thicker needle. A bigger needle. All right, let me just, because this is just hurting my thumb. Bear with me one second. I have the world supply of chenilles. Right, we're going with a. What have I got? I've got a, 20, a chenille 24 there. So I'll probably want a 22 if I can find one. I do hope you don't. I'm not in the way. Then. Oh, I've got the world's amount. Of... Ah, what did I say? No, 24. Probably going to be the last pack I pick up, isn't it? Of course. Straws. Sorry, you can hear me rummaging. Hmm. Well, now then, that's interesting. Which is unusual. Oh, hang on. No. Mm, oh well, just have to keep on going with this. It's not a big deal, it's just that I'm being. I really ought to sort of use a bigger knee. I'm sorry if you can see my great big head in the way. it does make life easier if you have a bigger if you're struggling just go up a size thickness of eye and needle anyway right that's one I shan't worry Maybe that it's blunt. And there's, you, you know, when you um, have a blunt needle and then you swap it out for a, a new one, you can really tell 
although my my handmade pin cushions that I make myself I always fill with walnut shell crushed walnut shell um, because they sharpen your needle hello Reg needles as you push them through I better put that back because it's going to wiggle around if not just for now in again the more thickness as you go through um, I think the more texture you add the more sort of layers I like to add them because it just adds more texture you could just do this it, I mean, by all means, you just you can just embroider um, your picture, your design, your whatever. You can add just embroider all beads and buttons and things. You don't have to add layers of fabric. But I always think that that's how your textures you add texture to your work. just following my lines as I say it's not it's not structurally you know I'm not an architect oh dear I wish I was that's another thing I love architecture and wandering around London um, last week was so gorgeous this, the architecture's out of this world isn't it in in these older buildings if you've seen the little snippet i did of liberty the liberty building um the structure's beautiful just the timber structure I know I'm going to keep harping on about it aren't I, for a while because it's it was so gorgeous. I think I'm just going to come back up and do a thicker, another one. I have actually now filmed my um, shopping spree at the Stitch Festival and in Liberties so that will be up on the channel at some point not sure when it has to get edited and well actually I tend I tend not to edit too much I don't I'm, I'm not a, I'm not too worried about over editing I think it do you know it's just a just gonna come across here for me I I don't mind listening to people talking and I always think if I'm waffling around you can always fast forward me you know I won't be offended well I will but um, Probably, you, I've told you the story of the headstocks across the way on many of an occasion, I know. Um, but for those of you who are new to the channel, I live in what we call D.H. Lawrence country. Hymn of Lady Chatterley's lovers, lover, lover fame. And... 
these headstocks or to the mine where his, his father worked. They were very poor. He um, wasn't, they weren't rich people. And there is a house that belonged to them. Um, I'm just going to just. Um, that's just recently been sold and it was so derelict. But there's also a little museum which isn't in the house, it wasn't a house of um, the Lawrences. But there's a little museum which is quite sweet and the house is as would have been in their day. It's quite nice to have a little look around. <sighs> I'm just going to run out of thread, so I'm just going to... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to give myself an extra bit, because I'm not going to do my usual. And get to the very last mo breath. Where's my auto? Is there? Pop you in there. We went to a um, Masson Mills, which is in in Matlock in Derbyshire, and it was it's um, it's oh gosh why can't I do this? I'm holding the wrong end. That's why. Oh, it's stuck to that. Oh, uh, yeah, it's it, it's the original mill, um, and they made threads. They didn't make cloth. They made thread and twine in that mill. And um, where was I going with the story? Yes, and we went there to make some biscon new bin cushions uh, did a little workshop and made them out of some fabric that was made from made by a by a machine that had been brought to the mill it wasn't made there it was made in a in the factory that the machine came from but not too far down the road but I don't want to give anybody the wrong info um, yeah anyway and that's what I was going to say and I was given I said oh we had a scone or a scone whichever way you and we were given little jars of jam and I said oh I'll keep that for an ought and the lady who ran the little cafe had a basket full of these jars and uh, you know <laughs> and basically we all sort of and told us help ourselves and basically we all had a couple of jars each so they're great for uh, the little travel case I'm just wondering what on earth Harvey's doing. I can hear him. Don't know what he's doing. So, yeah, we uh, we had a lovely morning making bees gone new, and I will show you. Um, and I think it means French for wonky translated so that was what we made a little pin cushion or well, say little that's quite large so we had a, a little outing some my daughter some of our stitchy friends who by the way I've met through my online classes not oh goodness me Reggie come on 
probably barking at Gertrude. Probably barking at Gertrude because he, she gatekeeps. She keeps. Him, <laughs> she sits in the doorway or at the top of the stairs or wherever, so he can't get past. And he does his a uh, mardy little wolf. I'll show you my scissors because I know there's going to be somebody who <laughs> they're a little plant pot, flower pot. There's always somebody who comments on my scissors. <laughs> Cute. I have a wall full of scissors. One day I will do a little video. Um, I say I will. That's if anybody's interested. of my scissor collection. They're not all fabulous, by the way. Some of them are rubbish. But who doesn't love a good pair of scissors? Whether they snip very well or not, I like, I like a novelty pair myself. <laughs> and I've got several. Oh, you don't want to come through. This, um, canvasy fabric has got like glue on the back of it or the residue of glue on the back of it because it was um, from a, a fabric sample so it's quite awkward to get through I'm hoping you can sort of see it's not the best but I'm hoping you can get in the drift of my um, headstocks, they are called the headstocks. It's, um, it is, oh God, I don't know what I've done there. I just cut you off. I think because this fat, this, uh, thread, this anchor thread is so old. It was out from the charity shop in a, um, in a kit, a cross stitching kit. And by the way, if you're in charity shops or thrift stores or, Goodwill or whatever, though they're, they're the best places to pick up these things because they they they'll have them. And if you're not into cross stitch cross stitching, which I'm not, the threads in them are fantastic. So I always I always buy them, and they're only you know a couple of pounds. But the only thing is sometimes they're a little bit stiff. But hey, right, I'm going to put before I put my. Before I put my um, grass on, there's this bit of thread, this bit of sorry silk. Ooh, you look nice, don't you? I'm going to put some. I'm going to do some, um, I've forgotten what I was going to say. I'm going to do some sunflowers or suggestion of sunflowers. I don't even think this is, this one's not even a, I don't even know what that is. Designed for the needle, Mexico. But it's, they're from, um, and I'm going to do, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do some French knots to sort of suggest that they are sunflowers in the distance. Let's have a quick sip of my drink. Excuse me. Oh. It's like a field full of a beautiful um also i will say if you find that you're it sticking sometimes it's because this ends too frayed and needs snipping off and that makes all the difference as daft as it sounds uh, yeah our village sign actually has a field of um sunflowers on it 
Oh, have I got in a mess here? Uh, oh my goodness me, what have I done? It's cut. Right, we're going to have to snip that off. What have I done here? Oh, there we are. Oh. Got some other thread stuck in it. Yeah, so our village sign has got the sunflower fields in as part of the design. And I know that these sunflowers are going to be super tall, look. <laughs> I don't care. Artistic license and all that. I have no I'm not worried about perspective. I think I did say actually when we were doing the map, don't worry about perspective, it's not it's irrelevant. It's what matters to you in your head. Your Your thing, your design, your your idea, your thing. You don't worry about anybody else. I'm gonna come across here with some. I'm making my French knots quite loopy on purpose, sort of, because I just want to have it. Like I say, suggesting that it's sunflowers. Nobody else will know what it is but me, I suppose. And then, of course, do I do the stalks? I may well do. I've got some nice olive green. see them but my piece of oh, here this looks quite nice doesn't it I think I'm going to put that olive green on because I'm going to do some little seed stitches on this tree um and the problem with working with sorry silk is it it gets everywhere the little bits of it do. Let's get rid of you. If you're wondering what I do with all these threads from that my art, there's a there is a um a video on a little bird's nest with some eggs. Um, I use them for stuffing. I, I use them for um, 
lighting the fire with kindling so they've got lots and lots of uses you can put them out for the birds and I know there's people out there that are going to say no don't do that um, but I don't I think as long as they're sort of not synthetic you know the cottons and the silks that I use it's fine but then I look around in my hedgerows and things that I've been when I go out into my garden I've got quite a long garden and at the bottom of the garden I've got quite a lot of hedgerow and it what in sort of late uh, early spring just before everything starts to burst I try and give it a bit of a um, a trim and I can see in the bird's nest there's all kinds of manner of things bits of plastic and I think I told you one day that I was watching a little blue tip and he was getting the fuzz off a tennis ball that Reggie had left outside in the garden <laughs> so I had to say to Harvey my son I said don't move that tennis ball because that little blue tick keeps coming and getting all the fuzz off it to make it to obviously to line his nest it's quite a sweet thing so no I don't know I, I, I'm not 100% on that um, but I'm no environmentalist either, so please don't be shout, please don't shout at me. And the reason I sort of add lots of little stitches is for texture and it gives it depth, even if you can't really see. I've got a knot or something going on. Where is it? No. I think it's just because this has got glue on it. Yeah, just texture basically. You will even though it's a similar colour, when you start to look at it, you'll see a different gives it diff more depth. And also it gives it a bit of um, something else to look at in your work. For some reason I've got a thread coming up through the back but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put a couple of stalks in. I'm making a big knot on the back. I know you're not going to see some of these because I've got that that coming in but I think for my own peace of mind pretty sure when I'm talking or when I'm trying to tell a story I get interrupted and then I never finish the story off <laughs> oh dear um, my son will often say to me come on then get to the point and it's very annoying isn't it nice I'm going to go and put now on this I don't know whether you can see but it's got like a this side's fuzzy and that side's 
obviously the right side and you can see all the weft and the weave but I'm going with fuzzy I'm just going to where are you I'm going to stitch it down again just some random little stitches you can do these as big or as little as you want depending on I mean they're going to get quite lost in this because it's quite thick it's like a tweedy kind of the lady did tell me what it was but I'm going to have to investigate some more because I can't remember I got it at the stitch festival and you kind of get a bit overwhelmed well I do um, when I go to places like that because there's just so much it's there's so much to look at so much to look at so many things to buy so many people to talk to it's like being amongst all your friends you've ever made in your life <laughs> all knowing the same thing all wanting to do all talking about the same or similar kinds of things it's a bit like um I don't know, a party full of sewing sewists. <laughs> right, let's see where we're at. Oh yes, I like that. I'm gonna just stitch it down there because I don't want I don't know how I've managed to sort of do two green fields. I wasn't intending. Ouch! Stuck myself again. Wasn't intending on doing that. Like I say, I was going to do the letterbox, the post box, but I changed my mind. Right. Now, am I leaving it at that or am I going to add a bit of this? No, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it at that. I'm just going to get, excuse my arm, get my water spray and spray, get rid of the pen. Might have to do a bit more there. And that's it, I think. I might. No, I'm going to leave it at that. I was going to say I might put some darker thread in on there, but I don't think I need to. So that's my little jaunt over to the headstocks um, in my memory map. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I've not waffled on too long. Um, as I say, as I always say, you know, you can always fast forward me to the end. <laughs> Um, I won't mind honestly I won't so happy stitching everybody and if you've enjoyed it give me the thumbs up um, uh, if you've got anything that you want to give me a tip on <laughs> please do in the comments if you've enjoyed it please say let me know um, if you're new and you feel like you want to subscribe that would be absolutely wonderful and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye. Happy stitching.